Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Scott with Keep It Real Bass Fishing. Out here on Wednesday evening, out in the garage, still working on this 14 foot aluminum boat. Appreciate you joining the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button and uh, let us know you enjoy the content and subscribe to the channel for us if you will. Um, if you, of course, uh, we still working on this thing. I just want to jump in here. We got the uh, Oh, the trolling motor mounted. It's a, uh, as you can see, a string hanging down. I am in the garage. We got it mounted and secured to the, and bolted down real solid to the front of, on the front of the boat. It's bolted down. We got four good bolts in it. She ain't going nowhere. Good and sturdy. And so, we got us a 45 pound thrust Minnesota. Yeah, she's solid. We're fixing the wire up. Got to get it and get the back, get it wired up and, um, you know, for power. Okay. Getting everything mounted and secured. We're fixing the wire, get everything wired up to the battery. Um, that I got to still do. Uh, also fix and put the death finder in the fish finder death finder get that in and got them right there in the bag we're going to be putting the death finder in with a transducer uh, mount and transducer for on the trolling motor and once i get that secured and wired in we also got another battery right here we fixed them mount and put in at the back of the boat for that trolling motor is sitting on the back of the boat which is a 50 pound thrust motor gun we're gonna put that we use it to run this thing as much as we need to uh to get my big motor anyway anyway just want to jump in there kind of let you see the progress where I'm at with that and uh, appreciate you joining like I said we're gonna work on that we'll get back with you and show the progress uh, a little bit later thanks for joining and have a good day I'll talk to you soon hey guys welcome back to the channel Scott with keeping the real bass fishing I uh, just wanted to uh, uh, get back with you we are still working on this 14 foot aluminum boat like i said earlier we got the troll motor in and um, we're working on it to you know, try to get her ready for the water we got the, the troll motors in we got the uh, fish finder and depth finder installed i had to run the transducer as you see down the, the shaft of the um, troll motor and I got my transducer mounted here on the, on the bottom of the uh, troll motor and I got the battery being this we got the battery all hooked uh, hooked up we got it being charged um, so we and then the uh, Troll motor is hooked up, uh, and the death finder is, is wired. I should say it's wired. The death finder is wired up, and the troll motor is wired up. Just trying to get a charge on the battery. And it is working. And um, got to get on it and do some, uh, get it set up. I ain't had a chance to, to set it up, get in the way I want to set it up. And I'm probably going to do that on the water as well. Cause I gotta get that transducer in the water. But it's ready to go. I gotta read up on the manual too, on the settings. Cause that's a really good hummingbird it's a panoramic max 4di it has a sonar and down imaging 
It's a really nice um, fish finder, dead finder. It's got to read the book and figure out how to use it. Like I say, you got the trolling motor on, mounted, ready to go. Everything's set. So get packed up. Got a, a, even put, <laughs> even got me a boat cover put on it. Um, don't need them in the garage. I kind of I, I got some of my rods laid in here, strapped down. Uh, I made these these hook these straps and these hooks set up to hold my rods. So when I'm pulling the boat, they don't go flying out. And I've got some of them in. I just I got the rest of them St still hanging here, sitting here. I got to retie some stuff while I put them in the boat. And my tackle bags and everything is still over here. I ain't got I ain't got all those loaded yet. But if we take this thing out uh, to the campground and have to park it at the campsite. That designated area can't keep it at the campsite, so let me make sure we got a boat cover over it to protect it and keep it out of the weather and so forth. Anyway, I got the other battery hooked up and and uh, or I should say set up and charged up and ready to go back here for the uh, motor guy trotter motor. So it'll be fired up and ready to go whenever we get to get this thing in the water. Hopefully this weekend. It's gonna be a little cold. Got that what they call uh, dogwood winter. So yeah, dogwood winter this weekend. That's what Brad Travis said it was. It's supposed to get kind of chilly. That light's always interfering with the video. Supposed to get pretty chilly, and right now we're sitting in the middle of the week. It's Wednesday night. Um, cold front pushing in today, and I think it's a chance of frost over the weekend. Supposed to get down there freezing Saturday night, and uh, last I heard, and Sunday night pretty cold. So we're just going to go try to go with a hook this weekend. I don't know if it's going to be a good time being that cold and cold front coming in. But uh, me and my son, will, I guess maybe even Saturday or, or Sunday evening, we may go fishing the later part of the day, give a give it some time to warm up and uh, see if we can do something in the evening time. But that's what the plan is. We got her, finally got her set up, guys. It's been a long journey. Been working on this thing for, I don't lost track, several weeks, a month or something. And I've been at it every day, just about it, or every other day working on from scratch, from the trailer, restoring the trailer, redoing the whole trailer, working on it, and then and then working on it, and this boat, getting it all, the junk out of it, and getting it painted, and getting the deck in it, getting the carpet in it, and uh, then the seats in it, Get the troll motor on, <laughs> batteries in it, dad finder, all this stuff. It's it's been a been some work. Still got a, a bilge pump over here. Uh, I haven't got it installed yet. I will be installing a bilge pump in the back of it as well, just in case if we get out on the water and um, when it starts raining on us or something crazy happens before we can get back to shore. All right. Well, we appreciate you joining us. If you like the uh, content, hit that like button. Uh, it's been a pleasure. And uh, we'll see you again. Just remember, it's Scott with Keep It Real Bass Fishing. I'm a, always keeping it real. You do the same. Y'all take care.